Discovery math. What is discovery math? Doug Ford's talking about discovery math. He says he's going to scrap it and uh, return to back to the basics. And despite working in education, I didn't actually know a whole lot about discovery math. I just kind of let it go. So here's some, um, here's some information. In 2003, an organization named PISA, uh, Program for International Student Assessment, so it, it uh, tests a bunch of kids in different countries and then it assesses them, uh, male and female, um, and, and, and then it compares them across different countries and it gives you your international ranking. Okay, so it, program for international student assessment. So we're a, we're we're a member of this uh, testing, and we have information from fifteen year old kids in two thousand fifteen who took the PISA test, and then kids who took the PISA test again in twenty twelve. And I will show you all of the results of all of that. Um, but we dropped, um, and I'll sh here's a, here's a quick graph. There's twenty two thousand three, and there's twenty fifteen in mathematics. And I'll go through what this means. But Doug Ford, so we've, had, we've known this since 2012. We've known that the problem is our instruction um, because the kids in 2003 who were, who, who were 15 in 2003, they went through the old school math. And then the kids who were 15 in 2012 went through the new style math and they did much less, they, they did much poorer. So we know clearly what the problem is and Doug Ford is still the only one talking about scrapping the ineffectual math. Um, and, and that's insanity. Okay. And I'll tell you why. So traditional math, um, is typically teaches the method or algorithm first, and then teaches the application for the method. So two plus two is four. Here's how you get to that. Here's what you do. Here's the operation. That's the whole thing. Here you go. You spend a bunch of time instructing and then a bit of time practicing, and then you practice, practice, practice. Remember mad, mad minutes and, and, uh, memorizing the mathematical uh, multiplication tables. Um, so now they've scrapped all that. Discovery math turns traditional math on its head. It frequently begins uh, by introduce introducing a novel problem to students, and it works its way back by discovering, or to discovering, a method of solving the problem. Uh, the goal is to ground mathematical procedure and algorithms firmly in their applications and challenge students to think critically about how they might go solving the problems. Sure, right, whatever. Except that it's horribly confusing and really, really, really ineffectual for teaching math which is what we're trying to do. Okay, so this is an article from 2010. Sorry, 2016, April 10th, 2016. Um, educators debate whether some math basics are a dead issue in the year 2016. No, they're just trying to muddy the waters and continue teaching this ineffectual math. I, and it's insane. like, again, it doesn't make any sense. When we get to the PISA results, um, you'll see clearly the drops. And it just, it, going down this pathway doesn't make sense. Why, why continue with something that's not working? Um, okay, so... I'll go through this because it's a pretty good article. Uh, this link will be in the description. When it comes to improving the math skills of Ontario students, the $60 million recent, dollars recently pledged by the province will likely just make things worse, suggests the University of Manitoba mathematics professor Robert, Robert Cragen. Uh, guess what? You've just funded the ideas that are already causing the problems. Yeah, in fact, he says Cragen, when you look at the spending on math education per pupil across Canada, there's an inverse relationship. Provinces are spending the most provinces spending the most are getting the worst results because they refuse to change the curriculum. Uh, the problem says Cragen and other critics of the math curriculum being used across the country are teaching methods that de-emphasize learning the basic skills, multiplication tables, long division, adding and subtracting big numbers and, and compounding fractions. These fundamentals, critics say, are being minimized in the classroom. Um, quote, there are even parents who are hearing from in Ontario saying, I taught my kid how to down, how to add down columns and the teacher sent a note home saying, please stop teaching the old algorithms to students. It's harming them. Okay. That is patently, patently wrong. Discovery method gone too far. Um, okay. I'm going to not read this article. If you want to read it, then go ahead. But I, I just wanted to use it to show that yes, uh, Ontario kids are using this and yes, there's, there's a, uh, a correlation. Um, so this is a, independent study uh, by, by um, C.D. Howe Institute, what to do about Canada's declining math scores. Their top recommendations are, as a rule of thumb, teachers should be encouraged to follow an 80-20 rule favoring direct instructional technique over discovery-based instru instructional techniques. Provincial math curricula should be rewritten to remove ineffective ped pedagogical, that just means uh, in like the new ones, like the, the things that are supposed to be new and fancy. That's all that word means. I had to look it up. Um, 
directives and streamlined to emphasize specific concepts at appropriate grade levels that have been shown to lead to later success in mathematics and future early uh, future early and middle years math teachers should be required to complete a minimum of six credit hours of math content courses while in university and to pass a math cro content uh, li licensure exam in which they demonstrate fluency in topics from kindergarten to eighth grade math curriculum before they can obtain certification to teach mathematics. Holy crap, that's not happening already? Why are we letting people who don't know how to do math teach our kids that math is hard or that math is confusing? If you don't understand something, how could you possibly teach it? Why are we allowing this to continue? It's insanity. And it's measurably worse. Okay, here's how to read this chart. Here's the 2003 PISA results from across Canada. The average is 532. This is the standard error percent. Okay, so just so you know, there is a, a standard error. Um, so 532 in 2003, 527 in 2006. So those kids were, st you know, they had the basics still. They understood. 2009, 527. But the PISA exam works in three chunks. 2003 was math heavy. 2006 was reading heavy. 2009 was science heavy. Back to, su back to math in 2012. So these are only updates for the math. Math is updated because this is more focused on reading. Math is updated because this is more focused on science, right? Math is completely updated, redone, because it's focused now. This is the math PISA. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So we can see clearly Canada is declining. And not by a little bit, by, by large margins. Um, and that's concerning to me because we know why. We can provably see why. Prior to 2003, what method was being taught? After 2003, discovery method was being taught. It is ineffective, period. Why is this not the, the main... This should be a news article now. This is, this is something that is important now. So... Man, Doug Ford, thanks for bringing this up. Discovery math is an absolute disaster for Ontario students. Discovery math will be repealed on June 7th. Get out and vote. Our students need you. Get out and vote. Holy cow.